and your gun speaking. My son has been killed. Chief? The murderer is at a police custody now. And I want him to remain there. I, I, I will be right there. I want him to suffer for taking the life of my innocent child. I'll make sure of that, sir. Sorry for your loss. Face. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking we have the whole weekend to ourselves. I'm sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. Come here, we'll do a quick one, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, when are you coming back? I don't know, baby. I have to get to the station first, uh, take a look at the case file before I can decide. But uh, I can promise you I'll be back for lunch. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. So, what do you want to have for lunch? I want to have you. <laughs> that's main course. Okay, so whatever is going to give me strength uh, to handle the main course will do for me. Okay, beans some plantain. Prefer so. Okay. What do you have for me? Just the corporate statement and that of his sister. His sister? Yes, according to him, he was only protecting his sister from Chief's son. Make me understand this. I think it is better you go speak with the young man and his sister, and then go through their statements. All right, I'll be right there. Sure. Okay, bye. Bye. I'll see you later, okay? Bye, baby. I have to rush. Steve. My name is Barrister Daniel Oko. I know you. Dan? It's good that you know already why I'm here. It was an accident. I, I didn't mean to kill him. No murderer ever admits to the crime. I'm not a murderer. Yet you killed someone. It was an accident. It was a mistake. I was only trying to protect my sister. Protect your sister? <laughs> protect your sister? I read your statement. Your carefully crafted statement. It seems like your sister copied from you, word for word. We wrote the same time, but different places. Then you must have told your sister exactly what to say before you got apprehended. Listen, Barrister, if I had killed Kunle intentionally, I wouldn't have called the police, I would have just escaped. Well, it could be a plot to gain sympathy. Say your story is true, your fabricated story. <laughs> say it's true. Why didn't your sister ever report to the police that she was a victim of sexual abuse. She did. I reported to this same police station, sir. When was that? On the 17th of last month. Did you write a statement? No, sir. The police available said there was no paper and he asked me to pay 5,000 naira, and I didn't have that money, sir. So there is no written statement? No, sir. You've worked for Chief's family for four months. Nor during these four months, Kunle repeatedly forced himself on you, ripped you. Am I right? Yes, sir. Did he use protection? No, sir. Did you ever get pregnant? No, sir. I always take salt and spread afterwards. How convenient. So I was scared of losing my job because I really needed money to, to pay for my school fees and my brother was not doing well at that time. Let me get this straight. 
Kunle abused you for four months. And you did nothing because you needed money to go to school. Is that the story? Ty, if you come from my background, you understand why education is really a good thing. <sighs> Hello, Chief. Um, the DPO said that you we are at a station today. Yes, I um I spoke to the young man and his sister. I don't care what your discussion with them was. All I want is for the boy to be wasted. Chief. Chief, you know I have served you for many years and I've never questioned anything you asked me to do. But uh I would really advise that we handle this case a bit differently. Um, Chief, from everything I've gathered, uh, speaking to the young man, um, I'm not trying to discredit your son or speak ill of him, but it seems the young man is saying the truth. To hell with the truth, Barrister. My son is dead and all you're here telling me is the truth. For all I care, I want that boy buried and be buried for good. Let me ask you this. Do you still want to do this job that I'm paying you for? Or do you want me to hire another person to do the job? Yes, I will. I'll do it. DPO, I just uh, spoke with the chief. He wouldn't budge? Yes, he didn't budge. So what are you going to do now? He asked me to bury the boy. That's what I'm going to do, or try to do. Isn't that a bit too harsh? I know, that's why I need your help. In order for us to find a way to lessen the, the time he's going to spend in jail. I, um, I need you to establish that what happened was actually self-defense. In that way, we'll be able to manage to lessen the time the boy spends in jail. What if the judge acquits him? You know, chief, who have our heads. I'll take care of that. I'll make sure he doesn't get um, more than five years. He will serve something, but... Spending his life in prison is totally unfair. Well, that's fair enough. So what are you going to do now? What I need you to do is uh, get his statement for his sister and backdate the statement to the day that she came to your station to complain Chief's son. Okay, sure. I will do just that. All right. Bye. sleeping by this time of the night. What? I have never been faced with this kind of case before. You mean the boy who murdered his sister's bossy son? I believe the boy is innocent. I believe he, he was just trying to protect his sister who was being abused by the victim. But Chief wouldn't hear it. He wouldn't listen to anything I'm saying to him. He wants me to bury the boy, and that's all he wants. And you don't want to? My conscience. Still my conscience. My conscience has been breaking me. I thought lawyers don't have conscience. I was just kidding. Baby, I understand how you feel. 
But I also want you to know that Chief is not just one of your biggest clients. But he also has the power to take some of your clients away from you. So please, you need to fix this. Eh? Please. How do I sort things out with Chief? How do I get him to understand me? Baby, you're one of the smartest person I know. You must find a way. Hmm? Just, just go to bed, okay? I go to bed. You too, I want you to go to bed too. So. Okay, let's go to bed. Okay. My brother is innocent, so please don't send him to jail. Look, the case is in court already. I can't do anything about it. So we are poor. We don't have anybody to fight for us. We, we, we can't even afford a lawyer. So please don't for justice with mercy. Don't send him to look, court. Look, look, listen to me. I'm not the judge. Get up. I'm not the judge. Listen, you, what I can advise you to do is just get your brother a good lawyer, all right? There's nothing I can do. Please, just, just leave, okay? Get your brother a good lawyer. in prison, man. How is brother still going to survive five years with criminals? How? <sighs> I should have quit that job when I had the chance. Now it's my fault that he's in prison. Oh my God. as expected, right? Yeah, he got five years. Oh, baby, you really, really tried for him. You would have gotten more. The chief is still not happy, but he'll be fine. As for me, I don't know if I'm ever going to be okay about this. Baby, you'll be fine. Trust me. So let's celebrate. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's... Uh... Yeah, I think we should... Celebrate. Yes, baby. Mm. Thank you. Okay. What do we toast to this time? Okay, some more lucrative cases and victory. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Of cases and be yeah. more victories, right? Yeah, baby. What are you sure you don't continue the celebration upstairs? <laughs> Come here. Yeah, that's, that's way more enticing. I'm waiting, and I'm coming. You're going so fast. You know you're less funny. Yes, I know. I missed you too. <laughs> yes. When? <laughs> I miss everything, both the night out and anytime. <laughs> really? 
my nose. But they, let me call you back, okay? Okay. Who's that? M my classmates in school, buddy. Buddy? I've never heard of him before. Baby, those days in school, he was the one protecting me. Whenever anybody wants to bully me, he's always there. And he's so funny. You need to meet him one day. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Oh, so that's why you came downstairs. Babe, I thought you were sleeping upstairs. Yeah, I was until I realized that my love, the love of my life, was not by my side. So just two minutes, and you're missing me already. Just two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Oh, I'm thirsty. I want to get water from the kitchen, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, darling. I'll be waiting. Yo. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hi. <clears throat> Bimbo just called now. Okay. She says she's not coming back. I don't understand. That she's no longer working here. Did she say why? Yes, that she got a better job. Bimbo never complained about her pay. Yeah. Obviously, she's not happy with the pay. We need to look for another help. Please. Okay. I will call the agency. They will send somebody. Baby, no. You have to call the person now. Should I get your phone? Now? Yes. This house hasn't been cleaned for weeks now. Please. Okay, give my phone. Okay. That's strange. Your name is what? My name is Oma. Oma, from where? I was sent by the agency to replace the former housekeeper. To replace the former housekeeper? Mm. May I come? Who say you no know, carry with Paul? You say I carry that bank something now. This is your bank. If you go do it, 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 it. You say you carry bomb. Now they go. Just push that door small. It goes for something. You've done this job before, right? Yes, I have. Why did you leave your previous employment? My boss relocated to Denmark with the family. And what is your name? Oma. The agency told you what your salary is, right? Yes, they did. And the work conditions, right? Yes, sir. I work seven days a week because I get to live in the house with two people and I get two weekends off every month. Okay. Then can you show up to a room, please? Okay, Mr. Daniel, please, I would like to find out what you would want to have for dinner. Anything. Okay. Can I ask my fiancé? <laughs> you 
yes, I know. I remember when we were in school, you, you always saved me. <laughs> really? Uh, buddy, let me call you back, okay? Okay, okay, fine, hold on. Oma, what is it? Um, I'm about making dinner and Mr. Daniel said I should ask you what you'd want me to make. Mr. Daniel? Yes, he asked that I call him by his name. Well, you can make jello fries and chicken, it's fine. Hello? Good morning, Mr. Daniel. Uh, good morning, Omar. Good morning, Miss Stella. Good morning. Are you off to work already? I am off to Abuja. I have this hearing I cannot be late for. I'll be back in two days. Okay, sir. Do have a safe one. Thank you. Okay, darling. Yeah. Is breakfast ready? Yes, it is. Bring mine to my room. Okay, I will. Hold on. Now wait. I'm waiting. Who are they look for? I'm here to see Stella. You are here to see Stella? Yes. She knows say they come. She's expecting me. Uh -huh. <sighs> What's that? My friend, leave me. What's wrong? They don't go scan you. They don't go scan you. Leave me. Okay, no go be say you carry bomb, bro. No say no they had one. Why why they look me like you won't beat me? No, you won't beat me. Ah, what are you, 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 you just say if you beat me. No, good day. No go try nonsense, yo. Try nonsense. Scan you, they do any ah. Mr. Daniel. Hey. Omo. You didn't travel again? No, the hearing was postponed to Monday. Um, <clears throat> it's still upstairs. Um, no, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. She, 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 she's upstairs. Are you okay? Yes, You seem uneasy. I'm fine. I'm, I'm very well, sir. Okay. She's upstairs. All right, thank you. Told me he traveled. Please. Who are you? I'm Bode Stella's friend. Please, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. She, she told me you traveled. Please. Stella, you brought me here to mess me up. Please. Don't, 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 don't. You dare call my name. I give you 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Pack your things. Pack every damn thing you have in this house and leave my house. If you don't and I come back and I meet you here, you will rather you were dead. So leave my house. Don't talk to you. You are so Baby. disgraceful.
It is just a crazy world living out there where nobody cares. It is just a crazy life living out there when nobody cares. It's like living in a jungle where they rely on predators, where the rich sits upon the poor and drinks their blood. It's like living in a jungle where they rely on predators, where the rich sits upon the poor and drinks their blood. But I'm gonna fight. I will never give up now, now. I will never give it now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma. I will fight. I will never give up now, now. Welcome back, Mr. Daniel. How how was work today? Fine. I will set the table for dinner. I'm not hungry. That man is so, so bitter and angry. Ha! Huh? No, why won't he be bitter? Why won't he be bitter? A man came into his house and caught his girlfriend with a man. A man on top of his girlfriend. Now you are saying the man is so, so, so angry and bitter. No, he should be smiling. He should be laughing. Huh? She's even lucky. If it was me, huh? the story would have been a Oh, <laughs> That Madam Stella. Hey, hey, I would have cut off. In fact, immediately I enter my room and saw a man on top of her. I will use a tape like this and wrap them together. We will share him. I still find it very hard to believe that Miss Stella was cheating on Mr. Daniel. Uh, I know. I know in you. In his house. Uh, I know you will find it hard to believe. It's written all over your face. Your eyes, you see, your eyes. Why won't you find it difficult? Women supporting women. Because I know if it were you, you would still cheat. It's in your blood. You see, women, cheating is in your DNA. That's what they used to know you. And you'll be turning it to men. The men are cheating, men are scum. But you people are scummer than men. Scummer. I've been in this house for how many years now? How many years I've been here for how many years? Even before Mr. Daniel met that Stella, he has never, no woman has entered here looking for him. You see? To the problem your gender is causing, up and down. But very calm man. I've never seen him with a woman before. He doesn't cheat at all. Do you think his, this thing is not functional? And what kind of stupid question is that? Why am I even having this conversation with you in the first place? I beg, I beg, and let me go and make dinner before Mr. Daniel comes back. Did he pay you now? He pay you a bit. See, add me in the dinner. Like add me, or if not, if I'm so hungry, I can't get dinner. Nonsense. Women, see, small thing, they will put it on men. Men are cheat, men are scum. See them. See their own now. Good evening, Mr. Daniel. I um I want to talk to you. I will um I will transfer your salary to you in the morning, please. Just uh, forward the details to me. It's not about my salary, sir. What is it about? It's about you, sir. I noticed ever since Mrs. Stella left. Today is the third day you've not had anything to eat. I understand you are hot and you feel really bad. I understand that. 
But you don't need to do this to yourself. You shouldn't punish yourself because of someone else's misbehavior. Don't put yourself through this. You are the person that got hurt here. Let it go. Sir, I've heard so many things about you. So many good things about you, including how strong you are. This is not one of them. Whatever it is, sir, please let it go. Good night, sir. I loved her. Oh, what? I loved her with all my heart. I loved her so, so much. And I thought I had finally come to my last bus stop. I've been unlucky in relationships. Stella was my third engagement. And it hurts. It hurts so bad. Because of how much I loved her. You're a good man, sir. A very good man. And I'm very sure that the reasons of your past failed relationships was never your fault. If you feel you can move past what she did, you might consider forgiving her and, and make up. No. It's impossible. I have a very photographic memory and what I saw that day, what I saw in my room has never left my head. So, even if I chose to go back with her, every time I see her, every time I look at her, all I'm going to see is a picture of her and another man in my bed doing whatever they were doing. And that's not good. That's not good for me. That's not good for any relationship. So, it's not possible. I, I can't. That's true, sir. I, I think you should just let it go and, and move on. Good night, sir. Thank you, Omar. Good night. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I, I'm surprised to see you up already because it's a Saturday. Well, I have decided to resume my early morning workouts, you know, get back to fitness. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> so, so uh, what, what are we having for breakfast? You tell me. What, what do you want for breakfast? Uh, anything you like. I'm going to eat, but um, it's just, I feel great. I want to eat, you know, good breakfast, uh, lunch, uh, whatever you make. I'm going to eat. Okay. Uh, you're good. Please, I want to see Daniel. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please. Uh, ma Madam Stella, please, please, you cannot see Daniel. Please, I'm telling you, please. John, please now. Madam Stella, please now. Nah. Oh, God, Daniel is not available. He's is not it, around. He's a lie. Today is Saturday, and I know he doesn't go out except his weekend. Oh, things don't change. You know, say, small time where you come out now, you know, say, things don't change. He cannot be around. You know, the day around on Saturday again. John, please, I beg you. Please, I need to see Daniel. Please. Ma madam, 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 my daughter, please. Please, you cannot see Daniel, please. 
Adultery, adultery woman. Please, you cannot. John is me. Madam is me. Please, I need to talk to Daniel. Please, you Let cannot talk to Daniel. To... There's no way you can talk to Daniel. Oh, you even like a guy like this. You even like a guy like this. Now you get my go carry my, another man enter this house. It's a mistake, John. Please. If 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 you touch this case once, I lock him. That if you be. I'll John. Go Good day. Come close, you. John. Fit John, like please, please. John, is me or Stella? If you stay there the next two minutes, I'll go treat you like this. I'll go treat you like I'm a banana. John, please. Come on, girl, you're just talking to Talk to him, please. Imagine. John! John! What are you doing here? What do you want? Daniel, please, I'm sorry. I didn't do what you're accusing me of. I'm sorry. You are so despicable. Instead of owning up to your, your shameful act, you're trying to give excuse like I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid? Baby, see, someone is trying to separate us. Please. Are you crazy? Separate who? You invited your boyfriend to my house, took him to my bed, told the security to let him in, and you said someone is trying... What's wrong with you? I, I, I don't even know this guy. You don't, don't know, know him? We, I don't know him. So he was a ghost? Or he just disappeared and came to the bedroom <laughs> and you crawled under the duvet with him and having sex with him? Are you mad? I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> the next time I see you close to my house, the next time I see you close to anywhere I am, I will pin a crime on you and you'll be locked up for a long time. You understand me? Daniel, don't come please. close to me. Daniel, Stay away I'm from sorry. me. Sorry. Daniel, please. Stay away from my house. Daniel. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. Hey, no, come on, sit down. Mr. Daniel. Sit down, sit down. Come on, sit down. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Are you done writing? Nah, not even close. I just ran out of ideas, so I, I thought I'd take a break. Maybe by the time I return, I will be refreshed and uh, full of ideas. <laughs> I think that's what they call writer's block. Hmm. Someone is being intelligent. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Is that so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I didn't get to ask you some personal questions during the interview. My interview? Yes, your interview. Two months after working for you? Um, I don't think it's uh, ever too late to know, is it? I would have killed you already if I was a serial killer. You know that, right? Maybe you were just waiting for the proper sign. Maybe I am. <laughs> so, let's get to it. Um, so what would you want to know about me, Mr. Daniel? Everything. Everything. I mean, um, your family, um, where you're from, institutions you attended, you know, and uh, why you chose this job. Just everything. Um, okay. Okay, I am. Um... I am from Enugu State and um, I'm a graduate of mass communication from UNN. And um, I lost both parents in a very ghastly motor accident during my final year in school. Well, sorry about that. Thank you. So after my parents' burial, my uncles, shared everything my father had amongst them because they said I was a female child and as a female child I am not entitled to anything that my father owned and I was an only child too so I had nothing yeah and um, I was handed over to one of my uncles he was supposed to take care of me he was actually the person that brought me to Lagos and um, 
But his wife, mm, his wife would not want him to do one single thing for me. It was really bad. So I, um, I decided to survive, fend for myself, try to do something, anything at all to survive. So after I finished my NYSC about two, three years ago, I um, I decided to do something and that's how I came about this job. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What a story. That's one hell of a story. Maybe I should use your story when I'm writing my next book. Really? Mm -hmm. That's fine as long as I'm paid reasonably for it. <laughs> So, your turn now. You okay. tell me about yourself, Mr. Daniel. I mean, if that's okay by you. Oh, it's not okay by me. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Come on, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Well, I am from Akwa Um I'm an only child of my parents. My story is quite different to yours. I had quite a comfortable life. My dad was a politician, my mom a lecturer. I went to school, the best universities, and I read law. And now I am one of the best lawyers in town. Impressive. <laughs> That's your phone. Yeah. Should I get it for you? No, no, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Care to share? A problem shared is, is half solved. That is the biggest lie ever. It's not true. <laughs> no. But still, it's it's good to share your problems with other people. I have this case. Should be in court in two days, and uh, for the first time in my career, you know, as a, as a lawyer, I, I feel anxious about a case first time. Why the anxiety? Because I have examined the case thoroughly and my chances of winning are very slim. For the first time, I see that the accused has a much higher percentage chance of winning the case. Have you looked into every angle of this case? Because there's always something to hold on to. I have looked into every single angle. I've studied everything. I've turned the case upside down. I've, I've nothing, nothing. The only person I haven't spoken to, the only person I haven't interviewed is the dead man's wife, but I believe she's not a murderer. So she's just been last on my list. Is that a case of the man who allegedly murdered his best friend? Yeah. Do you know about that? Yes, I, I heard about it. It's all over the news. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, from what I've learned watching too many Hollywood crime stories, the least person you suspect is usually the criminal. I mean, no one is innocent until proven so, right? Yeah. I trust you to figure this out, Mr. Daniel. I'm, I'm sure you will. You'll find a way around it. Yeah. Try and get some rest, okay? Good night. Good night. 
Uh, hello, good evening. Yeah, I just wanted you to know that I will be at your house early in the morning tomorrow. Um, you're just the last person I want to interview before the case starts in court. I'll see you tomorrow. never loses a case. I see pride. <laughs> oh, I saw pride is just a fact. You can check the record. <laughs> I know your record, sir. All right. You don't know how excited I am about everything that happened today. I mean, you opened my eyes to something I never thought about. The possibility of the wife being the culprit. Even though she didn't do it alone, she had the help of her lover, but I mean, you made me see that. Thank you. That's that's really sad. Yeah, that's uh, really sad. One never know what they want sometimes. Who are they? Women. So why didn't you buy a bottle of drink to celebrate your win? Mr. Daniel, did I say something I, I'm not supposed to say? No, you, you didn't. You just reminded me of Stella, that's all. No, we has got a bottle of wine for us to celebrate together after every victory in court. So why didn't you buy any this time? I don't know. Maybe because she's no more. of wine to celebrate your victory but this is all I could afford. Oh my you didn't have to. But I did. Why? I did it because I know how sad and down you've been since Miss Stella left. You've been so depressed and I don't want to see you that way. I know it's going to take a while before you get over her but you shouldn't put yourself in a very bad place. I see how much you loved her. So I'm doing this so I could help and help you get through it. It's fine. Me, it's, it's beautiful. Come on, let's let's pop the wine, let's let's celebrate. Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. Cheers to your victory today 
and to more victories to come. Okay, and also to you, uh, I wish you a lot of good things because you're amazing. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm glad you like it. It is really good. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you enjoy the rest of the wine. No, you, you, you should have more wine. No, no, thank you, You sir. should. I'm good. Are you, are you sure? Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Daniel. Good morning, Omar. I'm setting up the table for breakfast. Uh, I'm late for an appointment, so uh, I'll see you later. Are you okay, sir? You, you don't look good. I think I'm fine. Just a little tired, that's all. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Maybe you should get some drugs. I'll be fine. Have a good day. Oga change car. Why don't you be Oga change car? No be Oga car you see there. Hey, is that not the car he went to work with this morning? So what thing can happen? What's he doing here? As you just come out, Oga drive, enter back, he day inside there. Oh, they ask me plenty question. Come out, I go prepare something, make person good for belly. <sighs> this is so unlike him. Come on, Joe, you talk too much. Okay, they, 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 yeah, they worry me. They can't ask me unnecessary question. Go cook something, I beg. You know, I take, take my medicine. Mr. Daniel, are you okay? I'm freezing, my body is so cold. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. Did you still get the drugs I asked you to? Uh, for, for good. For, for good. <laughs> How could you forget? Are you a kid? <laughs> Let me get you something real quick. I got you something to take uh, your drugs to. Thank, thank you. Anyhow. Here. Here, sir. Have some. I'm not hungry. Well, you know you can't take your drugs on an empty stomach. Besides, this would help warm you up since you feel cold. Just try, take a little. Don't, don't have appetite. You need to eat something, okay? This will help.
Good evening, Mr. Daniel. Time for your evening dose. But first, food. No drugs on an empty stomach. Uh, I don't have appetite. Yes, you do. I made your favorite. What? Oh, Here. See? So, do you have an appetite now? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> so, how do you know I like jollof and fried chicken? Because I know you, you always ask me to make whatever I want each time I ask you. Or the three times that you've only ask me to make something you ordered for jello fries and chicken exactly this way. Mm. Yeah. That's why. So. You should have studied law. No, not me. Why? Um, I'll rather pass on the answer because it might upset the almighty barrister Daniel Okum. So I'll pass. <laughs> What if I say it wouldn't upset me? Are you sure? Try me. Um, okay. Because they are not straightforward people. Wow. That's a straight bullet, not a straight one. My bad. I'll let you eat your food and your drugs right here. I'll take this. Enjoy. Think of a certain law. <laughs> this movie is for kids. I'm still a kid after all. You are not. You're an old woman. <laughs> what are you doing down? You should be resting upstairs. Yeah, I'm just tired of the bed, that's all. Yeah, I get that feeling sometimes. So how do you feel? Do you feel any better? You want something to drink? Maybe if it's something with alcohol, I will Hell accept. No. <laughs> Hell no, alcohol doesn't cut it for you right now. Why? Well, I thought to say alcohol kills cold. I wouldn't know, because I've, I've never tasted it before. Oh, come on, you've, you've, you've never had alcohol before? No. That's not true. Why? What? How, what would it add to my life? Nothing. Ah, you are truly a strange one. Strange one? Mm -hmm. Am I? Good strange or bad strange? Good strange. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, um, are you in a relationship? What? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Why are you asking? Because he must be one lucky guy, you know, to have a woman that is a lawyer and uh, decent. I mean, that's incredible. So, how do you know I am loyal and decent? Because I know, that's what I do for a living, reading people. I know a decent woman when I see one. Well, thanks for the compliment. And to answer your question, no, I am not in a relationship. The only one I tried to have and the last one I had did not end well. He wanted me to give him something I could not offer. Oh, what was that? What does a man Want from a beautiful woman. <coughs> Sex. Oh, you were so quick to guess that. <laughs> I see. Well, yeah, he wanted it and I wasn't ready to give in to it. And I'm still not ready until marriage. Wait. What? No. <laughs> you. You're virgin? I um I need to go to bed now. And you should go get some rest. Uh, I'll, I'll be here for a little while. Okay. Good night. Good night. Really, really good night. A nice conversation. Oh, she <laughs> she 
she's a virgin. Virgin? <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Yes, sir. I I need to go to the market to get um, foodstuffs. I couldn't do that yesterday because I wasn't feeling too good. But I need to get it today because the foodstuff in the house is finished. All right. I'll go off this and get my key and I'll drop it. No, 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 sir. You you don't have to. I um I'll just get a cab. No, you said you were not feeling well, right? It's okay. I I feel good now. Moreover, you don't feel good yourself. I feel okay. Feel good. Uh, sitting in this house uh, for the number of days I've sat here is like torture. I need the fresh air. Sir, so I I still exist. I am going upstairs. I want to grab my key. in a certain ways, even on our way to the market and back. Did I do something wrong? Have I said anything wrong? I feel terrible right now. Is it your health? Have you taken your medications today, sir? It's about a girl, the girl, the one who was staring at me at the junction. She was looking right at me, that girl. What girl, sir? The one who looked on camps at the junction? Yeah, I... I remember her. But what about her? I sent her brother to jail. <clears throat> You're a lawyer, Mr. Daniel, and you must have sent a lot of people to jail. So what is different about her brother's case? It was different. I believed he was innocent. He was only trying to protect his, his sister who was being molested by the victim who happened to be his son of a very powerful man who was my client. So... If you knew he was innocent, why did you send him to jail? Because that's what my client wanted. He wouldn't listen to anything else. He wanted vengeance. Vengeance for his son who was dead. And he is a very important man. A very important, well-connected, very wealthy man. If I had said no to him, he would have he would have left. I wouldn't have just lost him. I would have lost so many big clients. All his friends, anybody who was connected to me would have left me. So I, I pushed for the guy to be sentenced to five years. And I felt it was fair. You know, I tried to comfort myself in the fact that a life was lost and someone had to pay. But today, after I after I saw the girl standing there, looking at me like that, I realized that I took her life away. No, you didn't. You didn't take her life away from her. You were in a situation to choose between your career and her brother's life. And you did what anyone in your position would have done. So please don't, don't beat yourself up, okay? You did what you were supposed to do. You were doing your job. Can I give you a hug? 
Can I? You'll be all right, okay? Thank you. Don't beat yourself up. Honestly, Omar, I, I don't think this is the right decision. So you prefer I allow my father marry me off to some man that I know nothing about, somebody I've never met in my life, because of the promise he made to his friend? All I'm saying, Omar, is that leaving your father's house to come here is not exactly what I want for now. So you, you don't love me? You don't want me? You don't love me well enough to be with me. What are you saying? What, what, what do you mean? Oh my, you know that I love you so much and I always want to be with you. Then what is the problem? Listen, here's the problem, okay? Look around you. Just look around. Does this place look like where you'd want to stay? I mean, it's not even good enough to be a store in your father's house. I'd rather stay here than stay in any other place person's house, any other man's house. I'd rather be here. Okay, but you know, I, I live here with my sister. I don't care. It doesn't mean or change anything. I don't care. <laughs> Come on, why, why are you so stubborn? Isn't that why you love me? I'm off to the room. You can come join me when you want. Mary. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. What's your mom? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm fine. Yes, you are. I just saw you clean your eyes. You know you can talk to me about anything. We're like sisters now. You know that, right? So talk to me. What is it? I don't want Brother Steve to know. Else he will force me to quit the job. <laughs> To know what? What are you talking about? He constantly abuses me. Who? Kule. My boss's son. What? He abuses you? And you never you never mentioned it to Steve. Why? I don't want him to find out. I was going to do something drastic and then what will not become of my education? You forced me to quit. You can understand it. So because of your education, you let somebody abuse you and you did not mention it to your brother. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. This abuse we're talking about here, is it physical or sexual? Mary, answer me. Sexual. Oh my God. Mary. Mary. Mary, tell me it's a lie. Tell me it is not true. Tell me that everything Oma said you told her is not true. How could you? How could you allow yourself to be abused and humiliated? Are we the only struggling and poor people in this world? that you let yourself to be raped repeatedly all because of money. Is it not better for you to go out there on the streets and become a hooker and know you're doing it willingly? Hmm? The only reason I'm not going to beat this stupidity out of you is because I promised myself never to lay a finger on you. As for that goat,
so cute. I'm out of vision. Out of vision. Can you see me? No, drive down. Drive down. Spread down. You bastard! So you think because your father has money, you can do whatever you want, take advantage of the poor and helpless around you, and go scot free? Well, let me tell you something, and I need you to sink in, all right? Your father's money is not going to save you from this one. I'll personally make sure that you rot in jail for all your atrocities. Damn you! Damn you too! Coward! You dare hit me? You're going to pay for this. You sure pay for this. Getting drunk. Where is she? So you went out and got yourself drunk because of what you found out. How does that change anything? How does it make the situation better? How? Oh my, you don't understand. You don't understand the pain. How it feels to know that your only sister is letting a fellow man abuse her sexually simply because you cannot provide for her. But it's not your fault, Steve. It's not your fault he chose to be an animal. It's not your fault that he chose to treat a little girl like her under his care the way he did. It's not your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. I failed her. She's my only sister, man. I'm so ashamed of myself. How am I even going to look her in the face again? I mean, if, if not that she's asleep, I would have, I would have just gone back the way I came. I mean, I can't look her in the face again. She's not sleeping. She went to work. She went to, she went to work? Yeah, he called and said he was having a party this weekend and needed her to be there. And you let her go? I did everything I could to stop her, but you know how stubborn you both can be. I did everything. No, 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 no. I'm not having this. No, no, no. Mr. Daniel Lukun, I will make sure you pay dearly for what you did to Mary and I. Even if it's the last thing I do, I will make sure you pay. Good hey. morning, Mr. Daniel. Good morning. How was your night? It was good. You're quite early for work today. Yes, I have this uh, meeting with a client who's traveling by 9 a.m., so I have to be there on time. Oh, so no breakfast then? Nope. <laughs> okay, what, what do I make you for dinner? I have this uh, business dinner uh, tonight, and I was even hoping you will uh, come along with me, if you don't mind. Me? Yes, uh, you know, I hate to go to these uh, things by myself. 
And since I do not have a partner, I was hoping you will come along, save me the boredom. Um, but what am I supposed to wear? You're looking dashing in a dinner dress. I know, but the problem is I don't have such dress to wear. It's not a problem. Just uh, text me your size and I will get something very nice for you when I'm coming back from work. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, all right, then. Good day. Have a good day. I still don't know what you told my brother that he agreed for you to do this. Don't worry. It's okay. Is it? Yes, it is. It's okay. Everything is fine. Hmm? And as for your prospectus, when it's ready, you let me know so we know how much you're looking for so you can start your registration. Okay? It's not my fault that you're living with a man that sent your man to prison. Maybe. Stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. Everything happens for a reason, okay? God knows why this happened. But don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Now leave before he sees both of us together. Take care of yourself, okay? Thanks for taking me. You're welcome. I mean, I'm glad you did. I mean, you were the star attraction of the night. No way. Yes, no. you were. I mean, everybody had their eyes on you. Nobody could keep their eyes off you. Men, women, everybody. Even the blind, I'm sure tonight, would have recognized how beautiful you look. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I have these parties coming up every now and then. If you don't mind, we could always go together. Really? Mm -hmm. I would love to, really? honestly, yeah. Okay, all we probably need is to get new outfits for you, but you are amazing. Why are you so nice to me? What? You treat me so well. I've done this job for a while now, and all my employers do is to yell at me and even hit me sometimes at the slightest provocation. But for you, you treat me very well. You take care of me. If you treat me like I'm your own sister. Well, I believe that we are all maids and bosses in someone's eyes. And everybody needs to be treated with respect because we are all human beings, no matter your social class, no matter your social status. Respect is the word. I agree, that's true. Plus, I do like you. I mean, it's been a few weeks, but uh, I've grown fond of you, very fond of you. And uh, it's almost like we've known each other for a lifetime. And I like you too. And um, it's just that I've tried to fight it because I knew or I thought that it wouldn't lead anywhere because of who you are and who I am.
I gave him everything. I loved him with all of my heart. But he left me. He abandoned me in a world that was unkind to my type. Dan, it's not like you did something wrong to me or that I don't want it. I do, but I am just scared. I'm scared of being disappointed all over again. I don't want that. Oma, oh, I'm not him. I can never be him. I can never disappoint you. I'm here for you. And nothing will ever make me leave you. Absolutely nothing. So, does this mean you're my girlfriend? What do you want? Are you comfortable being with someone in my class or position? Are you comfortable? Oh my, I've never been a person to care about social statuses. I don't. My heart wants what it wants, and that's all that matters to me. All right, then. I'll be your girlfriend. Be my girlfriend? <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. So, in the spirit of uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, can we go to your room and pack your stuff and take them upstairs to my room? And why do we have to do that? What is wrong with my own room? Uh, we can't possibly live in two separate rooms, can we? Barrister Daniel Okon, are you trying to get me pregnant? Oh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I rebuke you! What? Jesus! Come on, let's go back into the room. No, 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 no. I'm staying in my room. No, you I am cannot stay. Cannot <laughs> please. No way! I'm staying in my room. Whoa! Fine! It is just a crazy world Living out there Where nobody cares It is just a crazy life Living out there Where nobody cares It's like living in a jungle where they rely on the predators, where the rich sits upon the poor and drinks their blood. It's like living in a jungle, where they rely on the predators, where the rich sits upon the poor and drinks their blood. But I'm gonna fight, I will never give up now, now. I will never give it now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma. I will fight. I will never give up now, now. I will never give it now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma. The money is really shining on you. Maybe it's, it's not what you're thinking. Every offenders like. Are you sure this is not the reason why you went there in the first place? What? Yes, because ever since this case, you never mentioned Steve to him. Immediately he was sentenced, you packed into his house. Now you both are kissing and shopping on the streets. Meaning you've been sleeping with him. The same man that sent your lover to jail. I would not let you speak to me in that manner. I would not let you insult me over something you know nothing about. You know nothing. I only passed by here because I've not heard from you. Why haven't you sent me your prospectus? You're not my father. Why should I? <laughs> Look, 
I swear to God, if you think that I'm doing this for you, then you must be mistaken. I am doing this because of Steve. All he ever wanted was to make sure that you are okay. And that's why I'm doing this. How much do you need to get back to school? 342,000 naira. I have your account details. I sent you 400,000 naira. So that would be enough to take you back to school and you have little change for pocket money. If you need anything, you call me. Back. You are back. Where are you coming from? I um I I I went out because I I was lonely. I was alone in the house and um I you know you're not home, so I was just feeling kind of away. I was tired and hungry, so I um went out to eat. Yeah, I went out to eat. Went out to eat? Yes. I thought you don't like eating out. Um, yeah, but I, um, I didn't feel like cooking because I'm, I'm not in the good mood. And, um, I knew you were going to be back home by now. So that's, that's why I rushed back home very babe, fast. Babe. Yes. What's the problem with you? I noticed earlier you Looked like something was bothering you, but you didn't talk to me about it. Yeah, What's going on with you? Nothing. I'm, I'm fine. I'm Are fine. Are you sure? 100%. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. If you say you're sure, then now uh, let's go upstairs. Alright, so what, what would you want to eat? Oh, I want to eat. Yeah. You? Nothing else. Come on, let's go. Uh, what? Nothing. I, I was talking about food. Yeah, yeah. but uh, family, you are, uh, you know, best food. Thing. You said you needed time, and it's over two weeks already. I know, but I'm still trying to get used to this whole thing. It's hard for me. Come it's on, still what? kind of weird. What is weird? I mean, making out with your boyfriend, your man, is that... How can that ever be weird? Babe, I'm a man. I have blood running through my veins. I can't continue to lay on this bed with you all the time without being able to touch you. That's my woman, we know. We touch each other. Come on, don't patronize me. What kind of touch do we touch each other? Okay, but if it's a problem sharing your room and your bed with you, I could move back to my former room and that way you don't have to deal with me here. Really? That's what you have to say? You know, it's fine, it's okay. Daniel, I'm good. I'm just trying to make it easy for you so you don't okay. have to be angry if I don't. He constantly raped me. He always forced himself on me. He had his way with me without my consent all the time. I was traumatized. But there was nothing I could do about it because 
He was the first and only man I've ever loved. I didn't know what to do because of the fear of losing him was more than the pain of the abuse I was going through. I know you're not him, but each time you try to touch me, it reminds me of him and it's, it scares me. It triggers everything and, and I'm, I'm so scared. Baby, baby, I'm so, so sorry. Why, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you tell me a long time ago? I've never talked to anybody about this. The truth is you're the first person I'm opening up to. I've always kept it to myself. No one knows. This rapist, this, this guy, where is he? I'll make sure he pays for whatever he's done to you. You will stay in jail for the rest of his life. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you, you don't have to do anything about it. Don't worry yourself. I've forgotten about it and taken it as a thing of the past. But I believe and pray that Kama will catch up with him very soon. Like very, very soon. I can still get you a therapist. No, 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 no. I, I don't need a therapist. I believe with time, I'll, I'll heal. I'll, I'll get over it. It's just a matter of time. I don't need a therapist. Oh, baby. Oh. Come here. This is too much. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. I promise I'm not going to touch you. I, w I won't try to make love to you until you're ready. Okay? Thank you, baby. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, I was thinking that we start up a business for you. Really? Mm hmm Oh, my God. I'll be the happiest girl in the world. Oh, that's great. So what, what kind of business would you like to do? Growing up, my mom had this kiddie shop where she sold everything for kids, from their clothes, toys, anything, name it, everything that had to do with kids. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the kind of business I would love to venture into. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. I mean, kids, things, they really move quickly, you know. So uh, what do you think is going on? cost us to open such a business. How much are we going to need? Let me show what, you. what are you looking for? Here. This is what I've been up to in my spare time. You're kidding me. This is so detailed. Everything is there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. This is good. This is good. Now I know you understand what it takes to do such a business. Uh, wait, you don't have the... The rent is not inclusive, right? No, no, no. I didn't include that because I don't have an idea what that cost will be. Okay. But I plan to go do a survey later, maybe very soon. No, it's okay. We can do that on Monday after my morning hearing, so it's not a problem at all. You come with me? Of course I will. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. I love you so much, Barrister Daniel Okon. Mm. 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 Hey, babe. Right on time. I got us drinks to celebrate. What are we celebrating? Your victory. Did I tell you I won? You always Did I tell you I won? I left the right file. I left the real evidences. I left it home. For the second time in less than one year, I made a fool of myself. And that idiot of a judge could not even give me a few minutes to come home to pick up the right file. She said no. I begged her. She said no. She knew I had the right documents. She knew I had hard evidences. But she wouldn't give me the time. Are you telling me about winning? What did I win? just need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me 
to calm down. I want nothing. I made a fool of myself. I could have won that kiss easily. I begged, begged, let me just come home, pick up the right fire. But she said no, because she wants to see me lose. They all want to see me lose. Treat this yourself. You're a fool of myself. How are you, Mary? Auntie Oma, good evening. Good evening. I'm calling to let you know that I've written my final paper for this semester yesterday. Oh, really? Wow, that's that's nice. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Um, have you gone to see Brother Steve? Mm, not yet. Let me know when you come back so I could take you out for drinks or lunch or anything. I'll be back this weekend. Okay, you take care. Bye. Alright. Bye. I miss you so much, babe. I think it's high time I finished this job already. It is just a crazy world Living out there Where nobody cares It is just a crazy life Is it out there When nobody cares What's your friend off? It's like what living in a jungle I don't know what you do I don't know what you do What is it? I told you I'm not ready for this I don't care what you want I'm tired of looking at it's what like I cannot have It's like living in a jungle I think tonight is the but best time for you. Look, that, that all you, you are drunk. Let go of me. Let go of me. I don't, care what you I don't want this thing I told you. Get off. Get off. Get off. Uh, uh. I will never give up now. Uh, come here. I will never oh. give it now. Uh. I will always Stupid girl. For the unseen uh. I will find. Uh. I will never give up uh. now. now. I will never give in now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for last night. I was drunk. I, I didn't know what, what came over me. Please, forgive me. Alcohol brings out who we really are. Oh, come on. You know I will never force myself on you. Do I? Oh, I look, I was, I was frustrated because of the loss in court. That's why I went to the bar to 
have a few drinks and I came back, I was a strong guy. Look, I, I promise it will, it will never happen again. You are forcing yourself on me. You almost hit me. I'm sorry. Look, if it's gonna make you comfortable, you can move back to the guest room. I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Mama, I beg you. Look, I don't, I don't want you angry at me. I care so much about you. Please forgive me. Mama, please. Excuse me? Don't you play dumb with me. Who are you, Oma? I'm Oma, your girlfriend. I saw you in the supermarket with Mary. And then I came home and played a few scenarios in my head and then I realized that, no, I had seen you before. I saw you in the court. Yeah, one time. In the court. And then the day Mary came to my house to beg me, when I was upstairs before I came downstairs, I saw you on our street. Yeah, right outside this house on the street. You didn't come here because you wanted to work, did you? No. I didn't come here because I wanted to work. I'll never work for a selfish man like you. Barrister Daniel Ocon, you are the most selfish person I've ever met in my life. And I'll never work for someone like you. What? You knew that my boyfriend Steve was innocent, yet you sent him to jail for five good years. Boyfriend? Steve was your... was your boyfriend? Yes, my boyfriend. He is my boyfriend, still my boyfriend. Mom, I have told you I am not coming back home until Daddy accepts Steve. He didn't do it. He didn't do it, and I will prove it. I will do anything I can to clear his name. Mom, are you sending me the money or not? Send it to the last account details I sent to you. Okay, Mom, thank you so But, Mom, you're my mom. If I don't bother you, who will I bother? Thank you, Mom. Thank you for everything. Thank you for always, always <laughs> being there for me, no matter how stubborn I get. Yes, Mom. I know. I love you, Mom. Hi, good day. Good afternoon. How may I help you? I think I'm the one here to help you. How does it sound giving you six months of your salary just for you to quit this job? What? But why? <laughs> the why isn't important. What's important is what this money could do to you. You could change your life, get a new job, something better, start up a business, anything. So are you taking it or not? I will only resign when I see the money. That's not a problem at all. I'll also need you to connect me to the head of the recruitment agency that got you this job. But that will cost you. Money is not my problem. I knew you were going to call the agency for a replacement for a housekeeper. All I needed to do was make some calls, do some minutes, and I got a job. Here I am. I am a lawyer. That's my job. That's what I do. I defend people. I persecute when necessary. But that's my job. You were supposed to be an upholder of justice. 
not a worshiper of money, but you chose to sell your dignity, you sold your conscience for money to please your rich friends. That's what you did. Overheard your conversation with the DPO. You knew Steve was innocent, yet you chose to send him to jail for five good years. How could you? Okay. Yeah, fine. That is in the past. What do you want with me now? I told Steve that he was not going to spend one year in that prison. And I figured, since the justice system is messed up, I might as well get the idiot that put him in prison to get him out. Oh, so that's why you're here. I see. Well, let me inform you. You're wasting your time. Because your boyfriend is in jail and I cannot do anything about it. Am I wasting my time? Oh, yes, you are. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. What are you doing? Check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone, Barrister Daniel Okun. Check it. I think tonight is the best time for me. Let go of me! I don't care what you... I don't want this thing, I told you. I don't care what you... Get, Get off me. I'll forever cherish that look on your face. I know it. I saw how drunk and angry you were the day you lost your case. So I swapped your case files and expected you to act the way you did. And you did. You didn't disappoint me. Yes. This year, it's nothing. I did not rape you, so it's nothing. You tried to rape me. You tried to force yourself on me. Isn't that enough evidence to ruin your career? Isn't it? What do you want? What, what do you want? Tell me, what do you want? I'll tell you. You have just one week. One week to get Steve out of that jail. Else, you will be his next cellmate. And if you don't, you see that video? I'll make sure it gets to every blog in this town, all over this town, every happening social media blog, anything on social media, this video will be right there. And let me warn you, just in case you try to play smart like you always do, <laughs> I have a copy of this video somewhere. If anything happens to me, I have somebody somewhere that will release this video. So don't fucking play smart. You have just one week to get Steve out of jail. It is just a crazy world living out there. Where nobody cares It is just a crazy life Living out there When nobody cares It's like living in a jungle Where they rely on predators Where the rich sits upon the poor and drains their blood It's like living in a jungle Where they rely on predators Where the rich sits upon the poor And drains their blood But I'm gonna fight I will never give up now, now I will never give it now, now I will always pray uh, please, I need I your help. Fight. My career is on the line. No, I no. really need your help. I will never give in. No, no. 
I will always pray for the unseekomer. Okay. It's so good to have you back, honestly. <laughs> At least you can smile now. <laughs> I mean, what could I have done without you guys? I mean, I'm so, so grateful. She didn't need you anything, though. All thanks to her. <laughs> Most importantly, you're here now. Yeah. And... Hello? I never forget the faces of people that hurt me. So watch your back, Oma. I will. And while at it, I will always, always watch those videos to see your face so I could have a good laugh every morning. And as for you, I will advise you do the same so you don't make a mistake. Goodbye, Barrister Daniel Cole. I actually got a compensation of 10 million naira. You did? 10 yeah, million. I did. <laughs> Everything has fallen into place for us. Yeah, I'm so grateful to the two of you. I mean, what could I have done without you guys? I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's good to have you back, baby. Yeah, I'm so blessed to have you in my life, baby. She's one in a million. <laughs> anything for you, baby. Yeah. You give me 500,000, I want to buy an iPhone. You should be talking about your education, you're talking about iPhone. Look at you. It is just a crazy world living out there where nobody cares. It is just a crazy life living out there where nobody cares. It's like living in a jungle Where they rely on the predators Where the rich sits upon the poor And drains their blood It's like living in a jungle Where they rely on the predators Where the rich sits upon the poor And drains their blood But I'm gonna fight I will never give up now, now. I will never give it now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma. I will fight. I will never give up now, now. I will never give it now, now. I will always pray for the unseen karma.